Hey guys, welcome to another Crows unboxing and today I got another unboxing for you from Premium Bandai. As you can see right there, it says it right there, Premium Bandai. I had to scratch off my information, but it's this box. What could it be in this box? Let's find out together with my Amazon safety knife. Which I have to say it does the job, but nobody really likes it. All right, what's this? Information about my product with my name and stuff. So I don't want you guys to see that. But the most important thing is what comes inside the box. And what could it be? What is inside these boxes? Well, that's going to be simple. I can't read that. This case is protected package for the transportation. Please note this will case will not be an object for refund in case of damage ETC. So... It says unlimited red, super complete selection animation. So I'm assuming you say the same thing, but in blue. So yeah, what could this be? Blue and red. Is this Pokemon? No, it's not. I can t I guarantee you that. All right, I have to cut this kind of differently. Because they really pack this really nicely. Now... I'm going to say one thing. This, I know exactly what this is, which is the D scanners. And uh, with these guys, with these guys, um, just know the pre orders were open all late last year. Uh, I think they opened in December, November, and then they were still open in December. And they were still open late um, uh, or early this year. Uh, so it was open for quite a few for, for a while, which is pretty cool. And uh, oh, that sucked. Wow, look how they put my cards in there, dude. Wow, that really is a bummer, man. Oh, don't tell me the blue one is the same. Oh my god, at least the blue one is fine, but look at this. Wow, are you guys kidding me? Wow. I'm going to see if I can message them and say, hey, this came in damage. Like, wow, man, come on, guys. Like, if you're going to pack this, at least make sure it's like this or put some tape there. Wow, I'm really disappointed about the cards. I, I was hoping to do like a small giveaway or something, but, you know, if I had the the the, the fan base or, or have these for trade value and sell it later, but this is really bad. I mean, this is what it's supposed to look like. You do get both of them, but man, that's horrendous. That's terrible packaging right there. Again, I'm going to message them because... I'm sorry that 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 was not that was not nice of, uh, for it to happen. Check this official website. Blah 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 blah. Anything else? No. So you do get two cards, which look cool as heck, which is the same as that one. Um, they come with. It didn't matter if you got the red scanner or the blue scanner, but these are really cool. But it's a bummer about this. Like, man. This is completely gone. That's it. Both of the cards. Wow, man. Just, just my luck with that. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the scanners. I got both the scanners. This costs like around 240 for both, I believe. Uh, it was a pretty pricey. Uh, like, or have this, the, the, the stuff inside. You know. Uh, it was pricey for these scanners. But... Again, as long as they give the cards, I don't care. So yeah, this is a button. This is a button. This is a button. So I'm assuming I gotta charge this or put some batteries in there. And there is probably no batteries in there. So I can't really show you how this works, but it's really nice. I mean, it's a digital device and it's a real one. So. I will put that one there and let me show you guys the blue one so you guys could see it. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty cool stuff. If, besides the cards. So here's the blue one. Oh, wow. They actually, 
Okay, so they made the black one for red and the blue one for blue. Okay, that's a bit funny. Um, all right, let's see this one. So it, it's pretty much, it was up to you. They cost like 120 for these scanners. Um, I have to read the instructions just to see how to turn it on. But again, you probably need the batteries. But again, look how really, really nice it is. It's really shiny. Um, can't go wrong. I mean, it's really nice. That's that I could say. So size by side comparison. No, you didn't really have to get both of them. I only got them just to show you guys and to get basically two cards. Uh, pretty much that's the only reason people were going to get this for the cards if you're a card collector like myself. So that's pretty much everything you get with this, the D, with the D scanners. Um, didn't matter if you got blue or red, you both, you got the cards in both. Uh, sadly, this came really horrible. Now, again, now, I would have done a giveaway for these, but not anymore because that's, that's just horrible right there. But with that being said, everything else is pretty cool. Premium Bandai does have some cool stuff that they, uh, they, they sell. Uh, eventually uh, some a lot of the times I only pretty much buy the stuff that has the cards because that's what I'm looking for But yeah with that being said, please let me know what you guys think in the comments below Oh, man, that, that is such a bummer because it is really gone gone it, like that's how it is, it is so Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry for this ending. I did this video uh, three weeks ago. So you, what you're seeing at that unboxing, but I had a problem with uh, the items and basically this card right here came bent. Now here are the ones I actually opened. So yes, I did get a brand new pack that's not bent as you guys can see right here. These are actually perfectly fine. Same goes for these guys. So here's what happened, and I'm gonna give you guys an explanation and they explain everything. Ba Premium Bandai is very strict. Um, when you basically are going to uh, file a claim with them and basically say, hey, my item can damage, you have to give them pictures of everything, of the box, of all six sides of it, uh, the stuff inside, how it was packed, everything. So they want as many pictures as you can send them so they can see if it was the shipping company or if it was um, a problem where it was within their indoors. So they want that information. So what happened was uh, when I sent them the picture, I sent them the picture of this one with the cards and how it came in the box with this bent. So they, uh, they didn't want that only. They wanted the shipping box. So I had to take them pictures of the shipping box and of all the the popcorn and everything inside of it so they can prove that it was in fedex because that's who shipped it to me it wasn't fedex's fault it was a manufacturing problem where they, they put the cards incorrectly so that's what happened in that situation so uh what uh what i had to do next was after they verified all that information they basically said i have to send them the bent card and once they receive the bent cards, then they will get, uh, they will send me this card. So that's what basically happened in this situation. So uh, again, you have to take pictures of everything and then uh, you have to uh, send them back the, the bent cards. And then afterwards, they will give you uh, your brand new card and they will ship it through FedEx. So again, pretty cool. Uh, again, Premium Bandai is very strict, but with everything is said and done, I thought it was going to be an issue where it was just going to be, well, too bad and too sad. You get what you get and there was no refunds or uh, replacements or nothing. No, they were very, very uh, nice about it. They just needed the proof that it was damaged from them, not from shipping and not from us. So with that being said, I got a special thanks for Band Premium Bandai to sending me my uh, brand new copies of... Uh, these cards that are not bent, I still have my originals that I opened. So yeah, I'm happy with this purchase. Uh, sorry for the, this extra part being a little long, but I wanted to explain it just in case anybody ever had to deal with this kind of issue in the future. So with that being said, I got a special thanks for you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.